Are you here for the protest? Absolutely. Yeah? I get emotional about this sometimes. He was charged with a first degree aggravated felony robbery. Let me tell you what happened. He was the fourth of four kids who got who were drinking, decided they needed a little bit more, went out for a beer run, decided they're gonna steal themselves a 12 pack of beer. Not exactly the brightest thing to do, but not exactly the only time that's ever happened. They go into a 7-Eleven trying to find one. It was the third one they looked at the, the, because they wanted to find one that didn't have any people in it. They weren't looking to get to cause any real trouble. Dylan stayed in the car. <clears throat> he wasn't the driver of the car. The other two kids who went in who are on video, they are on video. Dylan is not on this video. They went into the 7-Eleven. They, one of them held the door. The other one grabbed it and they ran out. Dylan was standing outside the car at that time. The clerk comes out swinging a two by four. Yeah. Dylan tells him, you know, don't be a hero, buddy. Come on, just let it go, no big deal. It's just some kids, some beer, just let it go. The clerk claims to have heard Dylan say something about, hey, you better watch it, you're gonna get blasted, or don't, don't do that, nobody wants to get blasted. He said the word blasted. Doesn't seem to be confirmed by anyone else. That is what got him charged with a first degree felony aggravated robbery because of because of the reference to the firearm he had just turned 18 years old he was in jail for 123 days when he pled he took the plea deal to the second degree felony probably in my experience working with people he probably either thought that he was going to get out if he pled to something or he actually was told he was going to get out but the judge went sideways on the deal that he might have had with his defense attorney and prosecutor i don't know which right now but he got sentenced to an entire year so he went back in jail he is arguably the person who is trying to calm shit down to keep everybody safe and he spent a year in jail on those facts no one was hurt no one was threatened he spent a year in jail on those facts he got out two months later he got nabbed for having a beer in his hand minor in possession of alcohol now let me tell you in my experience as a criminal defense attorney you get maybe a $500 fine sometimes less in some jurisdictions you don't even lose your driver's license no jail time. It's a slap on the wrist, no big deal. We understand kids are going to be kids. But not for him. On that crime, yes, he didn't do any time for that. But it violated the probation. You've heard me talk about fucking get off probation as fast as you can. It violated his probation on that first crime. 
And he ended up doing another 90 days from that same judge. Another 90 days. So, so let me ask you to just think about that. I already know I'm 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 preaching to the choir here because I know you guys hear this shit on TV about oh criminal record and you don't believe it and you don't give any weight to it. But that's why Dylan, in the eyes of everybody except those who are here, was a thug. Now you tell me if that's what that should be. No. Oh, hell no. No. So I've rambled on too long, and I'm probably getting uh, heat stroke standing here. <laughs> so I'm gonna, I'm gonna close. I just, I, I thank you all for being here. Please keep the heat on. Uh, for those who don't know, I've known Dylan since he was 14 through my friends Gina and Denny, and, um, and it's a very personal thing for me to be involved in this movement. And I'm very grateful for the opportunity and have my eyes opened either, even further by my association with you. Thank you. Right here, right here. What do we want? Justice! And when do we want it? Now! What do we want? Justice!
stop, man. You hit like a girl.